This morning, a first look at Prince Andrew, trying to ride up the storm after his botched interview about disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein, which led to the Duke of York's announcement that he's stepping back from royal duties. Now, a new blow. British press reporting the prince forced to move his private office. A spokesperson saying he'll be taking his work, quote, outside of Buckingham Palace. The news not even a week after the interview that's become a PR nightmare for the royal family. Do I regret the fact that, that, that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming? Yes. Unbecoming? He was a sex offender? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite I'm in the sense that he was a sex offender. The fallout growing by the day. The English National Ballet, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, and London Metropolitan University all announcing the Prince would no longer be their patron effective immediately. Barclays Bank leaving Andrew's Palace Initiative for Entrepreneurs, stating, In light of the current situation, we will regretfully no longer be participating in the program. For now, the Royal Family staying tight-lipped. As the Prince retreats, new calls for him to meet with investigators looking into Jeffrey Epstein. Whether a person is a prince or a pauper, he or she should provide any information relevant to a criminal investigation. The prince says he's willing to cooperate, but for now, the royal family faces a scandal different from any they've seen before. This is without precedent. The Queen has been on the throne for 67 years. She has seen the odd world diplomatic scandal. She's seen her own family scandal. She's dealt with the tragic and untimely death of Diana, Princess of Wales. Never has she had to receive and then accept from her second son a request to withdraw from royal duties.